while I was at the hospital. I'd gone in to do a couple surgeries on patients of mine and got off the elevator and hit the floor having sustained a stroke. The next time I woke up, I looked around, I was in my ICU. I looked around and said, oh boy, I really recognize this room. And I looked down on myself and I realized that I was the patient. So my name is Dan Schlatter. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at a trauma center in downtown Atlanta, who unfortunately, a little over two years ago at the age of 48, had a stroke. I mean, I was surprised because I was really healthy before that. I was running six and a half minute miles. So the stroke itself turned my life upside down, honestly. All of a sudden, I couldn't uh, do a lot of things. You know, walk, I mean, my speech was good, but couldn't really use much. Anything on my left side was uh, semi-disabled. So of course, I had to stop operating. I couldn't see patients anymore, do anything in all of my field of training. I guess it was not really a barrier, but another challenge was the financial part of paying for all this and meeting my deductibles and that sort of thing. A lot of therapy I went to was charged by the hour. So there was a bit of a financial uh, challenge. Of course, I wasn't working, so but, uh, that's the way it goes. I was losing a lot of time traveling around the city, going to my appointments. So it was really about trying to get as much uh, at home as I could. It's all about repetition. The more you do, the more you'll get out. So I could get a lot more out of this by having this at home. Hey, you know, I'm a doctor and I've tried pretty much everything. I can tell you this has helped and made a difference. You know, I've seen improved my wrist motion since I started this. And I attribute it to being able to hold something in my hand. It's just something more natural about the program and the therapy. My hand wants to move. I can tell my mind it wants to move, but it wants something in, in my hand to trigger that. And it made, just made a lot of sense because it incorporates the uh, visual feedback. And I knew that would be sort of double duty on my mind. You know, I really like the games and the visual part is very engaging so the therapy time practically it's not boring at all. Some of the games especially the basic are similar to other games that I've probably played in my youth so it was a very easy adaption to uh, figure it out you know, the best way to uh, master the games. The games are very uh, motivating for me because in the beginning I'll try a few and struggle and then I'll try it again the next day so every day is a new game, a new challenge. I like the games. So it made sense. There's a lot of things they people have asked me to do over the years of therapy that really didn't make sense. And this, you know, seems to fit what I was trying to recover in terms of my own function. On a percentage, I'm probably about 80% of the way since I do travel independently and I do drive. I can swing a golf club with one hand, but that's just not quite enough. So 80% probably, but I'm making steady progress and improvement. I will eventually operate again. I'll fix another femur, I know it.